Hey, what's going on, nerds? Y'all want to learn how to set up EC2 instances quickly? Well, stick around. We're going to learn bootstrap scripts and how to set up a web server quick and easy. And it's a script that you can use over and over and over again to make it easier when you're provisioning EC2 instances. So the first thing you need to do is we need to go to launch instance. So we'll go to launch instance. We're going to do Amazon AMI2. Um, we're going to use the free tier because we're cheap. The first thing you need to do is go all the way down to advanced details where it says user data. So we're gonna say pound exclamation point slash bin slash bash. And here is where we can start inputting our, our scripts or commands. So we're gonna say yum update dash y. This is gonna go ahead and install all of our updates. So we don't have to do it. It's already gonna be done. And we're gonna say, we'll install you know Apache or HTTPD. Um, we can install PHP. We'll say PHP dash MySQL. And we'll say MariaDB dash server. We can say dash Y. So this is going to install that. And we can say <clears throat> we want it to start um, HTTPD, HTTPD. So we'll say system CTL service HTTPD start say system CTL service. Start Maria DB. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to advanced details. And from here, where we can start putting in our script. So we can say pound exclamation point slash bin slash bash. And we can install our updates so we can say yum update dash y and then we can install everything that we need for a web server so we can say yum install httpd so that's apache php we can type in php mysql this is our mysql adapter for php and we'll say maria db dash server we'll say dash y so that's going to install all of that then we can start apache and start um MariaDB. So we'll say system CTL start MariaDB. And then we'll say system CTL start HTTPD. And so now we're done with that script. We can go to storage. You can encrypt it if you want to, or you can you can also change the size. You can go up to 30 gigs and it still stay free. You can add tags. So if it's for the development group or it's for dev or QA or whatever you want to call it. Here's where you can do your <clears throat> Security group, we're just gonna choose one that we already created. Um, you're gonna get this warning up here. It's like, hey, it's open to the world. That's fine, that won't last that long. We're gonna choose a key pair that we've already uh, created. If you have not done this before, you're gonna create a new key pair or you can go without one, but I would suggest creating it. So create a new key pair. If you do, you can download it, which you'll wanna do um, and just hit launch instances. And so it's gonna take a couple minutes to launch and when it does, We'll come back and we'll make sure that everything installed. All right, so now our instance has been initialized, so let's connect to it. So we're just gonna hit connect. We're just gonna go ahead and do it through the browser. And so here we are, it's connected. We can open it up, make it bigger, and we can type in PHP dash dash version, and we'll see that PHP has been installed. Uh, one of the things you're gonna do if you, if you do do this um, for web servers, you're gonna want to install, or go ahead and do your MySQL secure installation. Um, because you do have to answer some questions. All right, so there's not one. All right, so it's like, do you want to set a root password? Of course we do. We'll set a super awesome password. Okay, and it's, do you want to remove anonymous users? Hit yes. Disallow root login remotely? Hit yes. Remove test database? Yes. Reload privilege tables? Yes. And then boom, there we go. And so now we have everything, everything's ready. We've got PHP, we've got our MySQL instance, or it's MariaDB, but we've got our database, and we've got PHP all ready to go, and we only had to do our script, and then one command and answer a couple questions. And so this has been an AWS Quickie, is what I, is what I'm gonna dub it, an AWS Quickie. Uh, do it really quick, just a couple minutes, and you've got a fully functioning EC2 web server ready to go using bootstrap scripts. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. If you 
enjoy this sort of content if you think bootstrap scripts are pretty cool for ec2 if you're into devops uh, if you haven't already subscribe there's going to be a lot more of these aws quickies and um, we're going to look at you know rds connecting ec2 to rds you know maybe we can look at doing using a bootstrap script to set up a <clears throat> wordpress server on the fly and so this has been jeff the it guy i hope you've enjoyed the video i'll see you next time